You ever see that show Pimp My Ride? Exhibit would go out and find somebody with a hoopty of a car and his team would fix it up. They would put a new interior in it, they would paint it, and they would always put new rims and tires on it. Not sure they ever worked on the motors at all, but you get the idea. They trimmed the car out and made them look pretty impressive. Well, in a sense, that's exactly what the Q side chick does for your old Remington 700. You can take your granddad's old Remington 700 and bring it into this century with the Q side chick. It literally pimps your gun. Now you can basically take any decrepit, broke down, tired, short action Remington 700 with a featureless stock and drop and slam it into a Q side chick and it's a completely new rifle. You'll actually get many of the phenomenal features you get in the fixed rifle from Q with a lot less front end damage to your bank account, especially if you already own a Remington 700 that needs a second chance at glory. That is exactly what is so great about the side chick. You can take the nearly endless configurations of Remington 700 footprint guns on the market and combine them with the absolute best features available today. So basically you can take your tired Remington 700 with its classic walnut stock with some really great checkering and allow that gun to time travel all the way to 2020 making it relevant again. You will get all the top features you would expect from an insanely expensive modern bolt action rifle. I took a slightly different route and was kind of the guy who buys a brand new truck and immediately has new rims and tires put on it. Because I got a Gar Ridgeback and before one round was even through it, I swapped the stock out for the Q side chick. I did this for a couple reasons, mainly the fact that my original Begara LRP that I did a video on a while back doesn't fit. For some reason, Begara made the screw pattern for the optics rail different on that one model. Might be one of the reasons that they discontinued it. To mount the top rail from the side chick, those screws in the receiver must be that of the Remington 700, but I also wanted to show the Begara's work in the side chick. All currently produced Begara should fit, and the only one that won't is the Premier LRP that has been discontinued. I've got a couple Begaras and I think they are currently one of the best Remington 700 footprint rifles being mass produced today. And they are the best given the price point because you get a lot of bang for your buck with Begara. I also think that the Q side chick really is a great improvement on these rifles because as much as I like Begara, I do wish they would offer a true chassis rifle again. And since they don't, I made my own. The Begara Premier Ridgeback Rifle in a Q side chick chassis. I'm extremely happy with this combo. They go great together like Remington and poor business decisions. You'll get a really nice fully adjustable stock that will also fold, allowing this rifle to become nice and compact for storage and transportation. The stock is also adjustable for length of pull and comb height, so you can truly dial this setup in and tailor it to you. Something that probably isn't available on whatever Remington 700 you currently have. You'll also get a free float M-Lock handguard and a generous top rail giving you tons of options for mounting modern optics. If your donor gun has a trapdoor magazine, you'll also be upgraded to drop free AICS mags, which will greatly add to the capacity as well as the functionality. You'll get the ability to accept standard AR-15 grips. Don't like the Magpul MOE that comes with it? There are literally endless options so you can again customize your rifle to your specification. The side chick is also insanely light at only 2.6 pounds. Literally when I got the box, I thought that it was empty. I really like starting out with a lightweight gun because it's so easy to add weight with scopes, suppressors, and other accessories if that's the route you want to go. But it's really hard to make a gun that is already heavy any lighter. The chassis is also extremely slim and trim, making it handle extremely well. This could easily make a great modern hunting rifle if that's what you're looking for. There are literally so many options for this chassis, but whatever direction you decide to take, the side chick is going to make it better. 
I absolutely love the idea of this and think it's so awesome that Q is making something like this that lets you breathe new life into your old and tired bolt action rifles. Much like the fix, I think this chassis is helping revitalize the bolt action rifle segment. If you never changed the stock for a Remington 700 footprint gun, it's extremely easy. Kit Badger has a full video on it, and I don't feel I could do it any better than the one he did, so check out his video on how to go through it step by step. Basically, Kit Badger was able to swap his out on top of a mountain somewhere. I was able to do it and I'm from Alabama. So if you have the slightest skill level, you will be able to accomplish this task. It's just slightly more difficult than combining an AR upper and an AR lower. My setup with the Bagar Ridgeback inside the Q Side Chick chassis of course worked phenomenally well. We were easily able to get hits out to a thousand yards with the accuracy of the Bagara, all while the Side Chick gave us the ergonomics that you would expect from a modern bolt action rifle. The unavoidable question is how does it compare to the fix? Well, it's not called the Side Chick by accident. In my opinion, the fix is of course superior, but what I will say is you can potentially get way more configurations at a significantly cheaper cost than the fix. For instance, virtually any short action Remington 700 footprint gun should fit, so that alone gives you way more options than you could get with the fix in calibers and barrel lengths alone. You'd go 6.5 Creed, 308, 6mm Creed, 260, and the list just goes on. I know you can get barrels for the fix to convert it to many of those calibers, but many times you can buy an entire Remington 700 rifle as a donor gun for a side chick cheaper than you can get the barrel for the fix. Also, while it may not be quite as good as the fix, it does have a lot of similarities. Since I made the fix video a while back, I've got to talk to lots of people who have shot the fix. While most love it, you do get the occasional complaint, and I will say that the side chick addresses some of these. Apparently some people think that the fix kicks too hard because of the light weight, and I really want to tell these guys to put their big girl panties on and go shoot some World War II rifles and get back to me. The side chick will almost always be configured to be heavier than the fix, so it should have less recoil. Surprising to me is I've heard some people complain about the bolt on the fix. If you prefer something more traditional, here's the side chick, which has the exact same bolt throw you've had for like the past hundred years, boomer. The most common complaint about the fix is the price, and I totally understand that. After all, I still don't own one. Almost any way you configure the side chick, it should be cheaper than the fix. I'm obviously a huge fan of the side chick. You get all the ergonomics you want with nearly endless configurations possible. Q has also teased a pistol version recently on their social media, extending the options even farther. As much as I like my setup with the Bagar Ridgeback, I'm actually toying with the idea of changing it up a little and putting something with a shorter barrel in it that may take more advantage of the light weight of the side chick. While this setup is crazy accurate and shoots amazing, the 24 inch bull barrel is making it heavier than I think it needs to be. We'll see what happens, but that is exactly what is so great about the side chick, the nearly limitless options. But however you decide to build it, the Q Side Chick chassis is an awesome system that truly lets you pimp your rifle and take it to the next level of performance. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. As always, we have some really big reviews coming up that you won't want to miss. You want to know what those reviews are way before they hit the YouTube channel? Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time way before it hits YouTube. 
If you like what you see here and you want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is on Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every little bit helps and is greatly appreciated. There's also gear available right below the video if you want to go out and represent. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching.